Okay, in this episode, we'll go through the practical aspect of image to image uh, translation using diffusion models. Uh, so that's the diagram from the last uh, episode. We have our clean image x0. During training, we will sample a noisy sample. Uh, we will train the network to predict noise in that sample. We will use a sampling, some, some sampler to uh, later use uh, in, uh, um, in the generative process. But the key, uh, the key component uh, that's changing here is that we use our uh, image, an additional image as condition, and we concatenate that with our the noise sample. Um, okay. So first thing we need to change is our loss. We use the same loss, but condition is concatenated for input. So when we have our p loss, we don't only have output. Output is basically the clean sample. We also have a condition, and condition is our input, so to speak. Um, input is a bit confusing in this case because uh, input could also mean the noisy, noisy sample input that's being generated. So we call it condition, uh, and essentially the only need that need, the only bit that needs to change is that we concatenate the two output noisy and condition uh, to, and then that's fed into the uh, model. Okay, so output noisy is basically our noisy xt after going through the forward process. Condition is our uh, input image or uh, the image that we want to translate from. And then everything else stays the same. So it's really simple and we can get some interesting results there. Okay. So, and then the second part is we need to change the forward a little bit. And again, we just add the concatenation here. And again, everything else stays the same um, in the code. Uh, so for the results, we here tried. Uh, translating from these, this map representation to real image representation. And while not perfect, we already see some uh, coherence between the input sample and the uh, uh, output generated samples. Um, and that's basically what we can get in nine hours. So now we can go uh, and proceed to uh, the uh, Collab Notebook. And that's our collab notebook. That's our downloaded data set. I've already uh, downloaded the data set. It's the conditional pixel diffusion notebook, by the way, uh, linked in our readme. Um, and again, in this case, we'll have a slightly different definition of a data set because we want pairs, input, of, uh, input and output. The input, which is the map representation, and then output, which is uh, the aerial, aerial photo. Uh, something wrong with the files. Okay, there's no data here, so we should actually go with maps. That will be fixed after recording this episode. So hopefully you won't see that, but obviously we just need to we just need to check that that the paths match. And then we use pixel diffusion conditional, uh, and we can train everything else in the same way. Okay. So again, in about eight or nine hours, you can get a fairly OK model for uh, this task. So the next up is uh, latent diffusion. So uh, diffusion of high-resolution images, if that sounds interesting, I hope you check out the next episode.